How's it going guys? Uh, Tom Jones here again. Um, today we're uh, reviewing um, this bowling cream soda. Um, let's just jump right into it. I actually have um, the package it came with and we're going to get into the ingredients. Let's see the ingredients. Carbonated water, cane sugar, big plus, citric acid, caramel color, hence that. Um, this is a quick aside. A lot of more natural creams are clear in color. Um, pure vanilla extract and natural flavors. So really good in, um, ingredients. The, uh, the nutrition, um, let's see. We're at 160 calories per bottle. Um, let's see, and 40 grams of sugar, that is gonna be a cane sugar, so it's not, you know, the high fructose sugar. Um, presentation. I think it comes in a very neat um, bottle, clear bottle. Uh, sort of a little different, you know, you come to an angled top. Uh, nice logo. The box it comes in, um, nice little box, and we're gonna get right into the story because it says it on there. Um, Bowling bottling story starts in 1891 when a pharmacist named William Bowling created an elixir in his Patterson, New Jersey apothecary. He named that serum a derivative of birch trees, Bowling's birch, and began selling individual cups from a barrel on the back of a wagon. The package comes with four 12-ounce bottles. That is uh, the official story. And um, it's still bottled by Bull and Bottling in New York, New York, 6 East 43rd Street. Um, availability. Actually, the Bull and for, for its uh, niche nits is relatively available. Um, got it in a local grocer. I have seen it in traveling at various stores. And the cost, um, I want to say it's pushing towards the high end of moderate, um, not as high as a higher cost craft soda, but it, it's not as cheap as Sager Stewart's. I want to say it comes in at around um, $6 a four pack. Um, let's jump into taste. For taste, um, my daughter Reagan's going to help out and uh, pour a little splash of it. I have tasted it before, so let's, let's I forgot. pour a little more than that, Reagan. There we go. That's good. All right. Let's see. All right. You know, you got a high carbonation. Um, very creamy. But light, it's, it's not a heavy cream, it is light. Um, a little unfortunate that we have to add some artificial coloring, but most people do see cream sodas as gold or, you know, light tan. I recommend it. If you want a cream soda, try to keep these short. No obscenities, stay positive, or um, tune in tomorrow. Thanks for uh, checking us out. Cut.